Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. It's Critical Think from Down Under. Now, there's another flatty that thinks that they've debunked Wolfie. This particular flatty, I'm not going to mention his name because I don't want to attract the attention of any bots that might be scanning for certain words. But um, let's just say, let's just call him Ducky. Now, Ducky has done a little experiment, but... He's totally misguided and shown what a newbie is when it comes to understanding about electronic devices. Well, we'll go through the analysis of uh, what he's done and we'll show you that Ducky fails to debunk Wolfie and Sleepy gets his evidence that he asked for, but will he even acknowledge that he gets it? I don't know. This particular story starts with a video from Wolfie6020. Can a drone gyroscope display the rotation of the Earth with hobby level software? Let us test it. And he did test it and his finding was that it's not accurate enough. However, uh, our friend Ducky seems to think that uh, he's a bit of an expert on drones and all that. And uh, he wants to think that he debunks Wolfie, but let's see how he goes. So when Wolfie tells you that it's not sensitive enough, that's not true. I can't prove that it is sensitive enough, and I can't prove that it's not. But that's why I haven't gone down this path, because I know I can't do it. Well, that's right. You don't have the skills to prove that it's not sensitive enough. But I do. I'm going to prove that it's not sensitive enough. And this is what we've been saying, where's Wally been saying that um, the device cannot re reliably show anything near uh, 0 0.004 degrees per second therefore these devices cannot be used to show earth rotation of course sleeping warrior chimes in and says do you have evidence supporting your inaccuracy claim well of course we do of course i do it's a funny thing with flat earthers they always ask for evidence and then when given the evidence they ignore it or deny it and yet every time you ask a flat earther for evidence oh my goodness me they tap dance like crazy and dodge and weave and oh do everything and try to play the word games and anything except produce evidence anyway sleepy in this video you'll see the evidence supporting the claim that the gyroscope's not accurate enough in these uh, hobby plane. So when in doubt, a flat earther will always bring up the old chestnut of somebody obviously lying. And he says, although I don't really understand how he doesn't see that he's wrong. Um, I think you just should have stopped at, I don't really understand. Because flatties don't understand things and then they automatically think other people are wrong because they don't understand. Now here's uh, what the challenge was that Wolfie asked and Ducky took up the challenge here. Comment. Stop talking about it and just do it. Show that these drone flight controllers are capable of accurately displaying rotation at 0 0.004 degrees per second with hobby level software. Okay, all right, no worries. Let's get to it. So. Then he proceeds to do something which is not show that drone flight controllers are capable of accurately displaying rotation at 004 degrees per second. This noob, all he has shown is the fact that he can increase the number of decimal places displayed by the software that's connected to the controller. That's not an indication of accurately displaying rotation at 004 degrees per second but we'll get into the mechanics of that and why that's wrong first off let's have a look at the specifications for the uh, chip that has the gyro and it has the accelerometers on it and i know that um there's uh, ducky likes to call it single accelerometer and that's okay too but i say accelerometers because there's actually three uh, accelerometers in one the X Y and Z axis but whether you say accelerometer or accelerometers doesn't really matter and you want to make a big deal out of that uh, go right ahead now 
you can see you can set the uh, full scale range anything four settings the lowest one is 250 degrees per second and the highest one is 2000 so that's I know that that duckies and wolfies drones are set to plus and minus 2000 and I'll show you how I get that now a little bit of uh, explanation of how these things work now the the gyro there the it ha it generates an analog signal then this is connected to an analog to digital converter now this particular ADC has 16 bits now the the uh, sign bit is the one that's uh, the most significant bit but we'll call it the sign bit and then below that is the most significant bit for the actual uh, number that comes out and so the least significant bit is the one down the bottom here now there's 16 bits in this conversion now there's a certain resolution to do with 16 bits the the least significant bit is the resolution you can't get a resolution any better than plus or minus one least significant bit now the fact that you get more decimal places this is a result of a division in the software a mathematical operation because the numbers when you divide one number by another number it doesn't come out exactly there's many decimal places but that does not affect the accuracy and many of those decimal places are what we call insignificant digits so 16 bits so if the range of the reading is plus or minus 2000 degrees a second then the the value of one bit that's the least significant bit is 2000 over the whole range 32000 is the biggest 32767 is the biggest number so one bit gives you about 0.061 that is the maximum resolution you can get out of it there's nothing smaller than one bit there's no half a bit there's no point one of a bit that's the smallest amount one bit and that is 0 0.06 degrees per second now as you can see if you actually are not a flat earther you can probably tell that 0 0.06 is is bigger than 0 0.004 now if you're a flat earther you don't want to admit that I understand but there you go that's just the way it is so therefore here's the proof right here that this device cannot resolve down to 0 0.004 degrees per second therefore it cannot detect the rotation of the earth but that's not all okay it gets worse than that for this device it's much less accurate than that we'll go and see this and uh, we'll go and see this a little bit further now if we were to change the range on the device to read plus or minus 250 degrees per second then still the smallest resolution you can get there is point zero point zero zero seven six which is about zero zero eight which is still twice the speed of rotation of the earth and still unsuitable here you can see I've highlighted a couple of things this is the setting on on these flight controllers the sensitivity full scale range is plus or minus 2000 degrees per second and I'll show you how I know that in a little bit and so that means the sensitivity scale factor at this setting is there are 16.4 bits per degree per second now this is important I'll use that in a calculation a little bit further now here's uh, some output that Ducky shown on his video and here on this raw output I can tell that there in some cases that's greater than a thousand degrees per second and so I think that they've actually got a custom now I look at this they have actually got maybe they've got a custom scale 
so they're scaling it up a little bit more in the software perhaps because I can see one there 2582 So I'm going to still continue on the go continue on with the manufacturer's specifications. So the manufacturer's specifications is plus or minus 2000 and we'll see a little bit further there's a little bit more clue as to how they've scaled that up. So you see these numbers here. This is one bit these are represent the increments so the smallest you can get is zero of course and then you can get minus 0 0.2439 and uh, you can get other distinct numbers other discrete numbers even though there are many decimal places this 0 0.4878 0 0.4878 is twice 0 0.2439024392439 so that represents a number 2 and that 2439024392439 represents a number 1 and you will if you do the sums there you will see that all of these numbers here are a multiplication factor of this very basic uh, minimum resolution of 0 0.2439024392439 so how do we get this minimum resolution they say 16.4 bits is is equal to one degree a second therefore one bit would be 0 0.0609756097 as you can see that repeats now I've just put all these numbers here they they're insignificant the all the rest of these decimal places but I've put them there so you can write as many as you like you can keep going forever if you like but it's not going to change the accuracy of this device it's still you cannot do anything between one and two and nothing less than one so it's no good it doesn't matter how many decimal places you got the minimum in this case is 0 0.06 and the increment is 0 0.06 now you see with two bits and with three bits which is a multiplication factor of four not a multiplication factor of three these three bits you have this number 0 0.2439024390243 etc etc so there's another multiplication factor in there and looks like the controller is only using 14 bits and not 16 bits including the sign bit now it could also be that they scaled it up by a factor of four as well by some jiggery pokery the essence of it is that the m maximum resolution there is 0 0.243 something so you see those numbers here 0 0.2439024392439 that's the same number so ducky makes a mistake he thinks that decimal points are significant even though if you jump um, from 24.68375 uh, to another number the change in the least significant decimal there may or may not mean something if you were to jump to the number 24.68377 yes well then that is a change that would indicate that you could resolve that last digit but he's saying he's trying to make the fifth decimal point significant you just can't do that you don't know if it's significant just by looking at one number so that to say the fifth decimal is 0.00005 it is irrelevant without context and so he said here Wolfie said it's not sensitive enough it is sensitive down to the ninth decimal he says but no it's not it that decimal is just a result of the calculations of dividing one number by another it's not an indication of any sensitivity so he goes on and says with two different numbers you have 1.674 and 3.878 
the difference is 2.204 and so by his faulty uh, logic the third decimal is a 0 0.004 degree change but he's forgotten uh, that the actual change is two point something there's no guarantee that the the 004 is significant or even accurate it's just a number that pops out as a result of the the mathematics involved in dividing one number by another so the change there is two and it may be significant as to 2.2 that would depend on the device but certainly this four on its own sitting on the back end does not imply anything about 0 0.004 degrees change so the fact that there are numbers all the way to the ninth decimal does not indicate sensitivity to the ninth decimal that's just a result of doing that uh, division so it's a summary and conclusion did Ducky show that drone flight controllers are capable of accurately displaying rotation at 0 0.004 degrees per second? No, he didn't come close. Is a drone gyro capable of detecting the Earth rotation? No. Based on the evidence? No. Was Wolfie debunked? No. Was Wolfie correct? Uh, yes. Did I show evidence supporting the inaccuracy claim? Yes. Is Wolfie lying as claimed by Sleepy? No. So there you have it. I've tried to explain things as simply as I could. Uh, if the Flatties decide to take notice or not, that's up to them. If they decide to learn something, that's up to them. But there, I've tried to make it as simple as I could. I hope somebody learned something. So we'll see you next time. Thank you.